stuff out. But right now, we're here in winter semifinals. And to no surprise, <laughs> we have all four Japanese players in Winterside. That's right. Team Japan coming out strong here at Switch Fest 2019. And like you said, it's no surprise. They had a great showing last time out here. Uh, Prime Saga, we saw Team Japan do very well yeah. as well. So I'm, I'm just ex they they they've simply met our expectations at this point. It's <laughs> dude, I, I swear it's the 2GG power up, man. Japanese players they they come to 2GG events and they just kill it, man. They always do such an incredible job at these events. And now we're gonna see the best Olimar in the world versus the best Shulk in the world being Komei, man. And it's something about Japan and just being character loyalist, man. They they stick through it thick and thin, and it shows. That's right. I mean, he's these players have been playing these characters for years, way longer than Smash Ultimate has been out. And as you can see, like they both have a lot of experience, with, not only with these characters, but with each other as well. Yeah. So we're going to go right into it. Of course, Olimar versus Shulk is the matchup here. And and really, Shulk's just going to have the uh, incredible range. <laughs> He's going to outrange Olimar really, really hard. So I, I really want to see how Shutan really deals with that. Well, it looks like he's going to be starting out with playing the range game himself, using a lot of side B. You know, Purple Pikmin really the only one that's going to be planking with these big attacks that, Shush that Kome has been putting out. The rest of them are going to be successful just getting slashed up. Yeah, and another thing that I'm just very worried about for Shutan is how light Olimar is. I've seen Shulk kill very heavy characters at very low percents. And, uh, yeah, not a lot of meat on them bones here for Olimar. He's definitely very, very light, so he's going to have to watch out for that Smash Monado art. One thing I've noticed about Kome's play throughout the weekend is his use of Buster Mode. We see him use Buster Mode a lot better than we see our typical Schultz. Usually it's it's sort of a, like a catch-up mechanic that we see the Schultz put out. Right. Kome actually uses it like the double-edged sword. He says, you know what, let's roll some dice. Who's going to take the big damage right now? And I love that a lot of Shulks this tournament have been switching the shield right when they're landing on stage or going to the ledge, just as that safety net, the, the just in case I get messed up in this scenario. And it's working out really, really well. Just the fade back right into the forward tilt, really good stuff from Komei. He's going to go ahead and take that first off. Yes, no smash mode needed either. And that's, so that's going to make sure that that smash mode is, in fact, off cooldown when he requires it. And right now, speed mode is going to be able to do a little bit of damage going right into buster mode. Yeah, not, I, I mean, usually I see Shulks, they'll, they'll get a buster down throw and they'll go right into like forward tilt or dash attack. Komei opting to set up another situation with the falling forward air, maybe just thinking those extra steps ahead, trying to get that, uh, the, the good old American reset. Yeah, get the American reset, just take uh, your opponent for a ride just that much longer. As you see, Shutan able to escape the ledge with a with roll, but buster mode, that has to be so scary for Shutan. Oh man, get hit off stage though. He's gonna have the shield art with the up B. Makes it back. Wow. Really good stuff. And now that he has the shield, he's trying to pummel it out of him. Gets the jab. And look at this corner pressure. But the up B out of shield will relieve Komei of all this pressure that Shuzan was applying. But the back air will eventually connect. Okay, but that doesn't get Shuzan out of the danger zone just yet. Already at 87%. And with Smash Mode available because we did just see Komei lose his stock. Here he comes. Ooh. And the down air. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to go for the forward air. I'm going to hit you with something different. And that's going to be that down air. And with the Smash Art, you. Olimar's getting obliterated in that situation. Oh, completely erased. It just We just saw the hit land, and he was gone. But okay, speed mode coming right back out. And Komei going to try to extend this lead via back throw. And a Nair just to get rid of the Pikmin. I like that option. Yeah, usually you see, uh, you see a lot of Shulks moving around in speed mode. But Komei literally had speed mode for like half the time. He's just standing there, waiting. Waiting for that one specific open. Opening runs halfway across the stage and gets a grab. Like, that's that's very, very patient play coming out from Komei. That's also your movement pressure. The down smash is not going to work out for two times. He only had the purple Pikmin online. Up smash. Oh! It's the jab to punish the spot dog. Yeah, and right now going to the bust art, and it looks like Chutan gonna still rock it out here with this single, the, the solo purple Pikmin. Um, it does, you can just continuously do aerial, so sometimes like you just, if you want continuous moves to come out, you just have the solo purple just so you can keep that shield pressure going. You can actually set up a lot of shield break situations, but eventually gonna pull some Pikmin here. And yeah, we did see something we don't really see from Shulk, and he did what? Uh, Komei was not able to make it back to the stage, even with jump mode on in the air slash, but an up smash, with Smash Mode, 
big punish coming out from Shuton. Yeah, and all of a sudden, even percents. Yeah, all of a sudden we see Shuton already back in this game just after getting that uh, gimp on the second stock there. Now looks like Shuton has the center stage control. He has two purples online. Okay, there goes one. He tries to get the gimp off stage. Ooh, very nice spacing coming out from Tome. Going so low, making it very deceptible, uh, making it very difficult for Shuton to actually land and try and get that air guard. But a back air, cross up back air, not enough, and Kome is still living. Oh, there's the backslash to the stage here. And Shuton with another jump call out, but he's still alive. The power of Kome, the power of anime, and he's <laughs> keeping himself alive. Okay, he finally gets his way back on the stage after taking all that damage, but that means he has the rage online. Shuton has to avoid a lot of stray hits coming out from Kome. Okay, very smart. Getting grabbed, but right before he got grabbed, Kome was able to put shield mode on. Now oh. smash mode. <laughs> Essentially, these stray hits could kill. Back throw, not jump. enough. Now jump mode. He's really going to go off stage. Okay, but the up B, he doesn't fully connect. He doesn't pull the trigger on that second one. That's actually in part because of jump mode. Yeah. He didn't it, launch him high enough. Well, I think he got launched too high. Like, yeah, he didn't get launched high enough to match up with that jump art. So, wow. But the up tilt, okay. Gonna take it. Oh, man. And that, that was so crazy because Kome was in the jump art it that looks like the thing that is the reason why that up he actually got messed up there yeah. but he was able to redeem himself with that up tilt. It was, <laughs> that was an intense game one and wow what a way to start off this winter semifinals couldn't have said it better myself we even had a slight pop off from Kome you know popping off during sets not really an attribute we see from our Japanese players yeah Kome got the fist bumps man or, or the fist pumps fist yeah. bumps gotta get that slight celebration that was a tough victory and it may have just been one of many games for him to play but we take it yeah and i i'm not a hundred percent sure on this but i believe this is uh the first time kome is competing in american in, in an american tournament i'm not a hundred percent sure on that but um it's definitely like his first 2gg event for sure mm -hmm. so really glad to see him come out and it it it, it really like I love it too because it kind of settles who's the best Shulk, right? Because even in Smash Bros, <laughs> like, well, who's the best Shulk? You know, Komi and um, Nico and some of these other Shulk players don't always compete in the same tournament. Well, right, right, right. they're all here. And Komi is literally the only one that w made it into, like, even just top 12 in general. Mm -hmm. And he did it in Winterside, defeating Mars, ranked three in the world. Yeah, if you didn't have a chance to check out that set, I would definitely go back and walk it. watch it. VODs are going to be up fairly soon. It's already on YouTube, so if you're interested to see how Komei overcame Mars, yo, uh, 2D Gaming on yo, YouTube. I think, yo, Komei might be a, a student of Ken's, man. He, he, put the, he, he put the fist over the heart, bro. That's the Ken, man. That's There's a different variant because he like was kind of pounding it, but yeah. But yeah. yeah. That, that wouldn't surprise me if he, in fact, is like a uh, training partner of Ken, and Ken like does, in fact, help him out. Uh, because we kind of see the, the similarities, especially like how Komei likes to play back, wait for his opportunity to really run in. Shield mode is going to really keep Komei in the game. You know, we did see a couple of down airs land from Futon. Yeah, and the thing is, mo uh, like in any other situation, that would have set up a really great edge guard, but because he was in the shield arc, it barely sent him anywhere, and he just goes right back up for another up B. If you hit him again, it doesn't quite necessarily matter. Okay, coming right back out. It's time to make that double edge sword work for you, Kome. Yeah, usually, like you said, we'll see uh, we'll see Shulk bust out the Buster Buster Art when they win neutral and then put him on the ledge and then go from there, right? But Kome is willing to take the risk of going right into the Buster in neutral. Okay, the board air catching the the recovery from Suton and the air slash with the Buster assist is enough to take the stock. Yo, man, and I. I <laughs> Dude, this matchup looks horrendous offstage for Olimar because you go high, the fair. You go low, there's the uppie waiting for you. I mean, every time Shuton goes offstage, it's, it's going to be such a big opportunity for Kome to strike. I know, you really have to rob and weave with Ooh, your Shuton. Another, I mean, I, in the first game, it, he might have SD'd as well, but that time he definitely sunk too low uh, right there, kind of overestimating the, uh, the jump art. When you put your Jordans on, you expect to go all the way to the skies. Yeah. Maybe not high enough. And shield mode coming out now. Here comes that bust mode once again. Going to put all the damage on the shoot on. So taking an opportunity to just make sure you oh, got no more Pikmin on him. And I love I love that Komei had like two Pikmin latched onto him, but he just went in for the dash grab. Like he didn't even try to hit them off or anything. He's just like, you're not going to expect me to go in because I have two Pikmin latched on. And he just went right in, really catching shoots on off guard. But 102%, those Pikmin latching onto him do in fact add up the shield. Okay, going for Buster Mode. And it's very smart, you know, get all those Pikmin off him first before they try and do a little bit more damage because of Buster. Yeah. 
And look at that. Tome actually going out of his way to down tilt the purple Pikmin. That's a very big deal. Getting rid of these purples is very huge. If Shuton has two um, purples in his Pikmin, it, it's just so devastating. It's so hard to get in because those side B tosses actually put you into tumble. It's, it's so hard. You have to go over them and maneuver them. But wow, what a sneaky stock coming out from Kome. I know. Reading the roll. Uh, get up from Shuton. Landing a back air to boot. Man, like I like we said earlier, just Shuton is playing such a light character. So Max Rage combined with the Smash Art, like combined with these very powerful moves, Kome is going to be able to have the option to clutch out so many stocks like that. That's right. It sounds like a recipe for a disaster for Shuton. And as you can see, still sitting on this Max Rage. Even Shield Mode is going to make sure that this uh, stays a threat for just a little bit longer. Yeah. And look at that. Just even that one slash of damage is totally worth it here for Kome. And here's the thing too. Okay, the forward air pressure coming out from Shuton looks like a lot of his corner pressure is just very aerial based. He'll call out certain jumps or get the shield poke with the back air or the forward air. Get a lot of these stocks. That's right. We're poking with that back air again. It reaches so far. It seems like it's actually catching Shuton off guard. Oh yeah, the, the range is incredible. Of course, the startup not the best, but here going to go into the shield art right when he gets hit by that up smash. So he cuts. Uh, Shuton's bread and butter just a tad bit short there. And instead of getting a double up air, you only got a single up air to follow. But there's another up air, and these up airs continue to rack up 84% and a red Pikmin on Kome and Wally has to get back out to the ledge. Down smash, big down smash from Shuton. Look at how hard it was that whole time. Look, Shuton still has the double purple lineup. He goes ahead and throws one out, forces a high recovery, and then covers the jump with the second purple Pikmin. Very, very beautiful play coming out from Shuton here. Yeah, even Throwing out that forward air before Kome had an opportunity to switch into shield mode because he was in the process of going to shield mode knowing that he was going to get hit, but right. he couldn't have done it earlier because it would have really messed up his career. Yeah, exactly. And wow, what great play coming out from Shuzan. Even considering how early he lost that second stock, right? <laughs> like he got, he did not get a lot of stock mileage there and he brought it all the way back. I just feel like the pivoting point was he had the two purples and he kept Kome in that disadvantage state, and that is when you're going to see those two purple Pikmin go to work. And like for a long time, he was only rocking the two purple Pikmin in the lineup. He didn't pull that red for a while. Right. So like all of the moves you were doing were purple moves. So it's like that is very hard to deal with. That's the power of leg strapping. I mean, we've seen that for years. Shuton making it work in his favor. Shield mode coming out. Yep, big damage here. Already at 27%. And Shuton not even really having to commit to this damage. Right? He's just tossing the Pikmin, just waiting for Kome to make his way in. And Kome's taking all this chip damage from the Pikmin. Wow. Even getting bounced off the stage, he's going to be able to make it back. Okay, good tech coming up from Kome. Yeah, right there. Shuton wanted the down air hitbox that sent him straight down. But Kome going to get a little break, gets the gets tech on the stage bike, and makes his way back on stage. But at what cost, man? He's already at 127%. Really gonna need to make this bus remote work in his favor as Shuton is what's still in the single digits. And Shuton is still doing work with this lineup here, and he's just holding on the center stage. There's the forward air with the purple, but he's still alive. I wonder if he could have gone for a smash attack there. Well, dealer's choice, and Shuton's still able to pick up that stock. Just took him a little bit longer than maybe it should have. But regardless, there's a single up smash into a back air. 27. Jeez, so much damage. Okay, there's the up and Wow, like shoots on all of a sudden making this matchup look a lot harder for Shogu. It's just really so hard for Kome to get in. And it looks like Shuton being a little bit more aggressive with these aerials, just calling out Kome, trying to hit him before the startup on all this range. Ooh, triple down tilt thanks yeah. to that uh, shield, art. shield art. And um, when you're hitting... Shulk in the shield art, you're also burning the meter as well. So not only are you getting that damage, you're also burning that shield meter away, or shield art away. Okay, well, they're flashing away, and now we see Buster coming back out. Shuton already up a full stock onto Kome. Here's a smash art, though. Can Kome nail the ledge trap? And the answer is yes. The forward air hits his mark. Shuton going to get reduced down to two stocks here. Okay, White Pikmin doing work, but Kome not exactly concerned about the White Pikmin. He's already at a high percent. He knows he's in danger of whatever plant Shuton has cooking for him. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing about Shulk. Uh, Shuton is pretty much usually going to have to deal with Max Rage Shulk a lot of times because the shield art will just create the situation that he's going to be living for that long, right? Mm -hmm. Very true, but the air slash is going to allow him to make it back. Oh, that empty hop coming from Shuton made it very, very unclear where he was in fact going to pull the trigger. Man, can, Kome, can you survive this onslaught? Ooh, very nice mix-up on the recovery, but 
shoots on, will find the up air to take that stock. Even adding on a little bit of extra pressure at the ledge by grabbing onto the ledge, it didn't exactly put Komi in a ledge drop situation, but it did force Komi to pick an option. Yes. And right there, Shuton was ready to strike with that up air. Just and that that's all it can take sometimes, you know, just just an option to make your opponent pick, right? And then, yeah. then you can go ahead and take the gas and go ahead and take that stock. If you're making your opponent pick options, the game is already in your favor. Yeah. Oh, the up air not coming out. And wow, the, the jump art up B. <laughs> I had a feeling like, man, is Shuton gonna go off the top here? Because it's so <laughs> high up in the air. It was in fact very high. So where's the grab? Okay, the air slash is gonna whiff, and that's a big up smash from Shuton. I really like how Shuton is shield pressuring Kome now. We see a lot of swings onto the shield, right? We see the up smash, but instead, it's more calculated from Shuton. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go for this hit and go right in the shield. Because he's expecting the up beat. Yes, exactly. And you can even tell when Shuton uh, has the read on Kome. It's like, okay, at this point, you know, he's getting a little bit flustered. He's feeling very pressured. I'm gonna run in his face. He's going to swing. And like you said, just hold that R button, get the easy punish. Yeah, and right there, I mean, right after that up B, there's not a lot of options. He can kind of mix up, like, I can do a second slash, and then maybe, like, instead of falling through the platform, land on the platform, but there's not a lot of mixage. I mean, I feel like that up smash would have reached all those options. Probably. <laughs> okay, okay so we're starting. seeing a, a little bit of a slower start for Komei. I mean, usually we see him, like, kind of charging in and being the aggressor, but as you can see, he's kind of playing back, he's trying to get a read on what shoots, what's going on in Shuton's mind. Yeah, because, I mean, considering, like, Kome came out so strong game number one, but Shuton has just really turned this around, really brought the momentum from game two into game three. So Kome, I feel like he's wanted to slow things down, you know, get try to get some way, somehow, get the momentum back on his side, because he's going to need it if we do have a game five situation. Okay, well. You can see Shuton is perfectly okay with uh, the slow play that Komei has been putting out because he has a game plan for this exact scenario. It's called side B. Exactly. And the, the longer a stock goes on for Olimar, the closer you get for like to having two purples in your lineup. And look at this. Already Shuton with the two purples on the line tries to get the snipe, but the single purple doesn't get the down air. Yeah, and Komei able to latch onto the ledge. And now retreating off stage, trying to burn a little bit of that smash meter. And it is almost completely gone. Yep. Very, very smart from Shuton. De definitely doesn't want to lose his stock at 70% here. And that's definitely something Schultz can do with that smash art. Yeah, air slash from center stage not going to be able to kill, but it is going to allow Komei to set up at the ledge. A quick whistle from the ledge would, uh, would stop any up to shenanigans that Komei was going for. Yep, okay, here comes Shuton rocking the solo purple, but now pulling the rest of the squad out. He needs to get back on stage here and high recovery right there. Komei not ready for that one, was expecting the low one. I even like how Shuton put the, the Pikmin at the ledge in case Komei jumped back on stage and was going to put a little bit more damage on him. Boys were ready to defend their captain, but Komei able to land a forward air. Bobbing and weaving through all the Pikmin finally just threads the needle, man, gets the forward air onto Shuton and now has a stock lead here. But for how long, man? He's already at 140%. 140% with a very small shield, but now shield art is online. Okay, is that? Yeah, you got to pummel out that aura. Yep, yep, right there. But Kome going to go with the mash there. And I, I, I actually don't mind the uh, the dash grab. It was very committal, but he was in shield arts. So he knew he could kind of like go for a hard read and not necessarily die for it. Yeah, it was not, if he got punished, I'm sure it would be, you know, 40% easily, but not in threat of losing his stock. And as you can see, we're starting to see, see the ledge pressure coming out again from Shuton. There's a cross up back that we've seen many times. Ooh, I like the anti-air coming out from Komei. He knows that Shuton wants to continue the pressure with these aerials. But now we have the two purple lineups back on deck here for Shuton. Let's see what if he can make some quick work of it. Yeah. And very evasive. Oh, man, that up B. Using it to avoid the back air. Really, really nice stuff. Standing at the ledge, playing so patient up to the... Oh, but only he gets falls the first out. hit. He fell out. That's a, that definitely would have killed too. Like wow. But yep. Oh wow. He's not dead. Backslash along wow. the way, but get caught on the way down. And Shuton's able to pick up that stock. That was so smart from Shuton. Usually it's very very hard to punish the backslash. Are you okay? He had the double jump. <laughs> but right there, Shuton sunk underneath the ledge and rose up with the up air to get underneath that side beam. That's how he was able to intercept uh, Kome going for that ledge. Right, and as you see, Shuton is going right back to the game plan, getting a down throw, gonna try and follow up. He is able to land it, but no launch because of shield art. 
Okay, dash grab, gonna go with the spot dodge. Kome setting up another offstage situation here. Has to get all these pesky Pikmin off of him. He's taking a lot of damage. And it takes him multiple moves too, so that's kind of important. That's just more time that he's committing to uh, not pressuring Chuton. Ooh, wow, and Chuton, man. He, this guy has so many mix-ups, but just gonna do it. Gonna probably catch a jump, maybe even a roll, but really good stuff from Kome. And he's just gonna get that upbeat right by the edge. Right. Kome able to just really apply a lot of pressure just by being in the vicinity of Shukan. Oh man, look, big damage coming off that Buster Art already at 57% with the up tilt, the whistle just barely off the mark there. Okay, going for a jump. I really expecting him to go for like a falling up air into an up air. Yeah. Checking all the cooldown on his uh, Monado Arts there. Okay, back to the Buster, wants to rack up a little bit more damage here, and honestly, he's in a position where it's like, eh, if, I, if I take more damage, it kind of doesn't matter. I mean, the pace play has been working out for him here in Game 4, but a very early uh, directional air dodge is going to get punished by Kome, and we see another fist bump. Well, Kome getting pumped out here, man. And I, I really like it because Kome, in most of those situations, was throwing out the fair, right? And you, you see the smash art, so you, you know that most shulks would just be trigger happy in that situation, but Kome... He's got the patience, he's got the weight, and it's going to pay off here. Now he's got this game five situation. He's got a little bit of the momentum coming on his side coming in, but Chuton got that counter pick, which so most of the time is uh, more important than the momentum. I mean, sometimes momentum does mental damage, but Chuton is a rock when it comes to that. So let's see what stage uh, Chuton actually picks. Uh, yeah, and, uh, of course, we're not going to see any character switch. A deep breath coming here for Kome. He wants to bring this one home, man. He wants to do it for the Shulk. For, like, of all the character mains I've seen, dude, Shulk, the Shulk mains are about it, man. They, they like, they stick together. They, like, share tech with each other. They're, they're, they're about it, man. I don't know how much anime you've watched, Korean, but that is the power of friendship right there. Yeah. Coming in clutch, and right now the power of friendship is trying to overcome Shuton. Okay, okay, ooh, wow, he doesn't go for the second slasher. Maybe he saw that Shuton kind of like drifted behind him, so. Really uh, great awareness from Kome, and uh, once again, we're gonna start this game a little on the slower side. Kome um, starting things off with the speed art, weaving in and out, but he doesn't want to overextend. I, I, I definitely feel like game three for sure was just like him running into things, and it definitely didn't work out. Okay, we see a cross up there, but it's not gonna work out. He does get air grab, or grabs, immediately going into shield noise, just in case Chuton was trying to get the conversion. I wonder if Chuton is going to start just kind of mixing up his uh, follow-ups from like Rose. Ex mm -hmm. Just expecting the shield mode to come out. Yeah, could be a could definitely be an option here. Ooh, beautiful parry and man, just like that, uh, I just feel like Kome is all of a sudden at 104 percent. Where did all this damage come from? Not just the damage output that Olimar has. I feel like he's had that since the the dawn of Smash 3. Oh, and here's the shield art. Okay, very very early upbeat coming out here. Even delaying the second hit just so to get you kind of away from Kome, but the. The uh, side view of a purple Pikmin is enough to put him on the platform, jumping up very high. Yeah, just waiting it out. Okay, gonna get some time on his other Monado Arts. Gonna go with the speed here. Ooh, and there's that dash grab. Even from an empty hop, too, is a very deceptive. Wow. The smash mode is gonna send Kome very far. Yeah, that's where he wants to be. That purple Pikmin really saved shoots on. That was such a horrible position there. Smash Art coming online. He's trying to recover back onto the stage, possibly going for a two frame on that forward air. Okay, but good carry, even turning around, getting the getting the grab on the cross-up. Smash mode, online, back throw. Wow. Again, it's just, it's so rough, I feel, for Chuton, because he's always got to deal with this max rate show. <laughs> like, always. How many times have we seen, like, Chuton has barely gotten stocks at, like, sub 150%. I mean, most of those early stocks were from uh, Skomage is going a little bit too low. Yeah. Okay, but jump mode is online and a forward air connects. Ooh! Wow, and look at how quickly he shuffles through all these Monado arts, man. Like, right into the jump, right after he gets the jump, he uses his double jump while the jump is active, switches right in the shield, and it's just time and time again, he knows exactly when and where to switch in between these in such a short notice. He's even microspacing with speed mode. He was running into Shuton's grab range and then just walking back a little bit and then going in, just weaving in and out. But as you can see, Shuton able to pick up the stock and immediately going in the shield after that up smash lands. Yeah, Kome is definitely not about getting up smash, up smash, up air, up air. <laughs> Okay. If you don't have to, why, why make that decision? Yeah, there you go. 
and it's so close. I mean, only about 40, 50 percent separating both these competitors, man. And this is game five. Oh, wow! That was so good. So, so tricky coming out from Komei. Lands right into his face and just, like, makes it look like he's going for a Tomahawk. Fades back, sees the roll from Chuton, then pulls the trigger on that smash art forward air, man. And unfortunately for Chuton, like, he was on a platform that doesn't give him much room to really work with. Yeah. So essentially, that sword covers the entire platform. Yeah, I mean, some of the Schultz move are bigger than the platforms we're seeing on screen right now. <laughs> it's actually wild. Okay, there's the Nair trapped on the platform here. Chuton needs to get back down as he does, gets the pivot grab. Not going to be enough, and once again, here we are, Shulk, at about 150%. That's right. <laughs> uh, Kome even hovered over the shield mode while he was falling, because as soon as he was in the danger, or as soon as, like, Shutan was relatively close to him, bam, shield mode on. Yeah. And right now, he doesn't have to commit. He can utilize this range that Shulk brings to the table. Oh, man, look at that switch, and he's constantly switching on Shutan, so it's it's so hard for Shutan to be ready for the scenario, right? It's true. Even at the ledge right there, like, was Kome going to go directly for the snap, or was he going to throw out the second hit? Very difficult to tell. Okay, and the shield art is going to come through. Not going to die there. The buster not going to get edge guarded on that up. Now shoots on on the ledge on this corner. Is the cross up? No, he doesn't get the cross up with that falling up air. Unfortunately, the first hit did connect on the Shuton shield, and that was the green light for him to uh, go for the shield grab and just completely erase that second stock from Kome. Now we have a last stock situation here in Game 5. Man, with the Buster Art, that, the White Pikmin ticked for so much, and wow, taking so much damage off of that. Maybe some of the gambling Kome doing actually kind of biting, biting himself. Well, Shuton's playing a lot more aggressive, staying more grounded and in his face. Yeah, and that, that's the scary thing about Shuton. Like, he, of course, he has, like, very great uh, neutral, can be defensive, but Shukon, Shuton also has the ability to turn it on as well. Oh, okay. man. Shield, smash mode, oh, forward throw. Dude. He's going to run off forward air. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? What's the edge guard? It's going to be the uppy. No. Uppy. All the way. Oh, and there it is, the up. Okay, he's still alive, though, but no double jump. He's going for forward air, but it's not enough to take a stock. Shuton still able to recover. Wow, and the forward air does connect, and another pop-off here from Komei as he advances to the winner's finals of Switch Fest 2019. And that edge guard was just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. No double jump on my man Olimar, so it was curtains. As long as Komei didn't drop it, and as you can see, <laughs> very clean edge guarding. That's right, standard play, just sticking to the basics, and it worked out for Komei. Yeah. I can't even imagine what must be going through his head really his first 2GG event, and he is in winner's final.